Towards 6 o'clock in the morning, the officer on picket duty at Winchester reported artillery from Cedar Creek. I ordered the horses to be saddled and mounted. I put my head down toward the pommel of my saddle and listened intently. The travel of the sound was increasing too rapidly to be accounted for by my own rate of motion. Therefore, my army must be falling back. As we made the crest, there burst upon our view the appalling spectacle of a panic-stricken army, utterly demoralized, pressing to the rear, in hopeless confusion, telling too plainly that a disaster had occurred on the front. I was sure the troops had confidence in me. I thought I ought to try now to restore their broken ranks or failing that to share their fate. About halfway between Newton and Middleton, General Tobert was the first officer to meet me. My God, I'm glad you've come. Jumping my horse over the line of rails, I rode to the crest of the elevation, and taking off my hat, the men rose from behind their barricade with cheers of recognition. Between half past three and four, I was ready to assail.